we're going to make a fresh corn fritter, almost like a beignet. We want this to be really light and delicate, and grating the corn is a great way of doing it. You can grate it right off the cob. It's a beautiful ear of corn, white and yellow kernels. And you'll see that the kernels come off on the inside like a pudding, but more importantly, you're releasing all the juice. And you can see the juice just kind of sluicing down into the bottom of the bowl. So for this particular recipe, it's around four years of corn. It looks like it's about a cup and a half or so. That's the majority of the work right there. Uh, it's very easy to do. It's putting everything in a bowl with one minor step. I like to soften the garlic in the butter, tame it a little bit so the flavor is not necessarily just raw garlic. I'm merely going to soften it, make it translucent. So it's just a very, very low heat. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to add the dry ingredients first, all-purpose flour, semolina flour, a little bit of sugar, salt, and baking soda which makes it light. I'll add our grated corn, three egg yolks, and lastly, the melted butter and garlic. To keep it light and really delicate, I'm folding it as if I was actually incorporating egg whites into a cake. At this point, it's a little bit soft and a little bit liquid. I want the flour to hydrate all the way through and for it to be a little bit thicker before I fry it. So right now, I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. We've chilled this now for about an hour. It's gotten a little bit thicker. And now I'm gonna drop them off at the end of a spoon into some hot oil that I have set at 350 degrees. My little babies are flipping just perfectly. Thank you. I'm looking for a nice golden color. There's a difference between brown and gold. We're looking for golden brown. Still a little bit delicate. I'm actually doing it in two batches because we want to maintain the temperature, so it's important that it's not overcrowded. So I drained them, let it rest a little bit on some paper towels so the outside is not greasy. And now I'm just going to put them in a basket here, lined with some linen. There you have it. We call them corn fritters. Somewhere between a hush puppy and a beignet.